Deadpool 3 is finally out, and fans are going crazy over it. That's right. Deadpool and Wolverine is probably the biggest movie of the year, and Marvel made sure they went all out for it. The movie was packed with some crazy cameos and a bunch of Easter eggs. We not only got Hugh Jackman back as the Wolverine, but we also saw a lot of our other favorite Fox characters make their official MCU debut. Yes, we got Sabretooth, a Pyro, a Zazel, and even Juggernaut back. That's not all. We even got multiple versions of Wolverine in the movie like Old Man Logan, Patch, Weapon Omega, and even Henry Cavill as the Cavill Ride. But Marvel didn't stop there, and they even got Jennifer Garner's Elektra, Channing Tatum's Gambit, and Wesley Snipes Glade to appear in the movie. But the one cameo no one expected was of Chris Evans. Yes. After his perfect farewell in Avengers Endgame, Chris Evans made a crazy comeback to the MCU, but this time he was not Captain America. Chris came back as Johnny Storm, a.k.a. the Human Torch, from the OG Fantastic Four movies, and took the fans completely by surprise. Honestly, Deadpool 3 totally delivered on the hype. We got Cassandra Nova in the MCU. We finally saw Deadpool and Wolverine team up together. And we got the MCU reset fans had been asking for. But did you know things could have gone very differently if Marvel had decided to adapt one of Deadpool's more crazier stories to reset the MCU? We're talking about the comic, Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe. In this story, we see Deadpool getting admitted into Ravencroft Asylum. Here he encounters Psycho Man, who is actually disguised as a doctor. Psycho Man tries to brainwash him into becoming his personal assassin, but instead the process drives Deadpool even more insane and instills in him a desire to kill everyone in the Marvel Universe. Yes, Deadpool goes on a crazy murderous rampage, starting with the Fantastic Four. Deadpool confronts Reed Richards in his lab and uses a surprise attack to kill him before finishing off the rest of the team. He then turns his attention to Spider-Man. Deadpool lures Spider-Man into a trap by pretending to be in distress. But when Spider-Man arrives to help, Deadpool murders him as well. He then hunts down the Avengers. He blasts Iron Man and Captain America away, beats Thor with the help of his own hammer, before killing the Hulk. Once he turns into Bruce Banner, but Deadpool still doesn't stop and goes after the X-Men. Using his knowledge of their abilities and tactics, he sets traps and ambushes them, systematically hunting down each and every one of them. He faces off against Professor X, who realizes that Deadpool cannot be stopped. Professor X tries to read his mind but is overwhelmed by the chaos and dies from the mental strain. And then Deadpool meets the Wolverine. An epic showdown takes place between the two, but unfortunately, Wolverine is not able to stop Deadpool and ends up dying too. Deadpool then goes after the rest of the Marvel Universe, killing each and every hero and villain there is. Honestly, this is one of the craziest Marvel stories ever, and it would have been insane to watch it unfold on the big screen, but I'm glad Marvel didn't do this story just yet. There are a lot more stories still left to explore in the MCU. But who knows, maybe one day when they decide to bring an end to the MCU, they could give this story a shot. That's all for today guys. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like these.